a not so lonely planet travel guide, volume 4 review. Asai and Mitsuki have been parking on a round the world trip together. Their plan, to get married, but the trip is over. They're on their way to South America, but no sooner have they arrived in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, than Asai receives a text message from his younger brother, Sorato, wanting to meet up. It turns out that he and, him and a friend are, are in Rio too. Asai is far from overjoyed. He hasn't told his, told his family that he and Mitsuki are an item and now they're all off to Panama Beach for Sun, C and San together to have to pretend that Mitsuki is just a friend he's traveling with. However, it turns out that Sorato's friend is actually his gorgeous bubbly blonde girlfriend, Alicia Sakamoto, which only makes Asahi more confused and ill-tempered. I always had a difficult time dealing with girls younger than me, especially the flashy ones. But as the four spend time together, Asahi becomes more distant and distracted until over dinner. Under the influence of our gla one glass at the local liquor to meet too many, he blurts out that he's losing his ring. Lost his ring. Next day, all four set out to search the beach for the missing ring, and the tie has come for Asai and tell his brother that the real reason he was so upset it was missing. Mitsuki is the one who gave it to me. We're dating. Asai is taking the plunge and come out to his brother, but things are even more awkward because Sorato doesn't know how to react or how he feels about this board sudden real revelation. That's all four continues to travel together, going inland to see the spectacular Iguaco Falls between Brazil and Argentina. It's time for some brotherly sharing the thoughts and feelings. Luckily, Alicia's upbeat look, outlook at life brings some welcome insights into the situation. And with the two couples go to their Separate ways, Asai and Mitsuki head into Buenos Aires. Sorato is feeling more accepting but about Asai's revelation. After Argentina, Bolivia represents new problems. Asai begins to feel very unwell, and Mitsuki realizes that he's suffering from altitude sickness. Mitsuki doesn't know how to do it, not so long. After all, since Asai underwent major surgery back in Japan. One of the aspects of world travel today that his manga brings home to the reader is that the smartphone has made communication so much easier as long as there is a signal. A science party can check up on her son from Japan even when he's in DPS Bolivia. But in spite of the many lighthearted moments presented by Moni Sorai, this volume also delivers some challenging and serious situations and as the young men encounter certain aspects of other cultures. It makes them think about their own futures, the visit they paid to La Recoleta Cemetery in Argentina, last resting place of Eva Peron, leads to the usual lighthearted Mitsuki most musing aloud. I wonder how graves are decided for couples like us, and when a sign falls ill with altitude sickness, Mitsuki's vivid imagination leads him some very dark places indeed, as he worries about what to do for the best. This manga travel continues to make for a very entertaining sometimes moving read. As readers, we come to know the two protagonists well over four volumes and their worries so far from home, but things go wrong are still very relatable. The enthusiasm for new sights and experiences is also very inspiring and Moni Sorai weaves the concerns they encounter about their own relationship into the ongoing narrative with skill and subtly. As the previous volumes, she brings the life into food, peoples and sights of the countries, the two are discovering stronger detail and distinctive art, no mean feature with the drawings are all, except the cover in black and white. She also has a gift for conveying emotions, strong, exaggerated expressions, and some of the faces that basically pulls in extreme situations are very amusing, or again, relatable. He has no head for heights. Not photographing the devil's throat falls in Argentina is immensely stressful. The translation for Toki Pop's Love Loves release is by Kitty Kimura, and it readers reads well, as before, with special kudos for also presenting the description of the food and drink that the travelers try out. We caught up with Japan for the time being, drawn new chapters can be read in Japanese online on Makomi. Last but not least, given that this is a boys love series, the LGBT elements were present presented are all to do with making a single sex relationship work and art, explored in a realistic and convincing way. More Sonai is to be congratulated for presenting the problems that her likable and sympathetic couple encounter as they get to know each other better away from their home environment as well as the pleasures to traveling together and seeing the world, 9 out of 10.